thank you for loving the breakup. I did. Um, Have you heard the rumors hmm. about Brad Pitt joining the cast potentially? Have you heard that? Yeah. In, they're so interwebby. Uh, I'm not so first for me. Well, well, more than welcome, but... Back in the early 2000s, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were the ultimate Hollywood power couple. But that all changed in 2005 when Brad met Angelina Jolie on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That meetup kicked off a major romance that broke up his marriage with Jennifer, causing a media storm and grabbing everyone's attention. The drama didn't stop there. Brad's later marriage and messy split from Angelina kept them in the headlines and had folks everywhere hooked. Never miss a Hollywood beat. Subscribe to Hollywood Zone now. So never miss a Hollywood beat. Subscribe to Hollywood Zone now. Brad Pitt, the actor guy, has had a super successful career. You know, he was in 12 Monkeys back in 95, Fight Club in 99, and Mr. and Mrs. Smith in 05, and those movies really made him a big star. Plus, he won two Oscars, one for Best Supporting Actor in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in 2020, and he also got one for Best Picture in 2014 as a producer for 12 Years a Slave. So, besides his fancy Hollywood gig, Brad Pitt's always in the gossip mags, especially for dating big names like Jennifer Aniston and Angelina Jolie. But he's more about his movies than the headlines. He told GQ in 2022, I'm one of those creatures that speaks through art. I just want to always make. If I'm not making, I'm dying in some way. But hey, the actor's not been able to dodge every gossip and serious stuff, especially the dark secrets he's been trying to keep under wraps. Because Brad Pitt's got that strong jaw and a likable vibe, everybody's always checking out who he's dating. So when he tied the knot with Jennifer Aniston back in July 2000, folks thought they'd be together forever. But that dream crashed when they split up for good in October 2005. Why? Well, Brad met Angelina Jolie on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith in summer 2004, and things got complicated. He told W Magazine, via CBS News, that there was no cheating going on, but later talks made it seem like things weren't so clean-cut. In 2008, Angelina Jolie spilled to the New York Times that she looked forward to watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith with her kids someday, saying it's not every day you see a movie where your folks fell for each other. Brad Pitt seemed to back up her story in a Rolling Stone interview the same year, calling the movie his favorite of hers, and hinting they hadn't watched it because, well, they were busy raising six kids and falling in love. Even though Pitt denied it at first, both he and Jolie later hinted that, yeah, they did catch feelings for each other while filming the action flick in 2005, even though Pitt was married at the time. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston called it quits on January 7, 2005, and they told People Mag that their breakup had nothing to do with all the gossip in the tabloids. At first, they made it seem like there wasn't anyone else involved, but as time went on, it seemed like Brad's thing with Angelina Jolie might have been a bigger deal than he let on to Jen. In a chat with Vanity Fair in September 2005, a buddy of Jennifer Aniston spilled the beans. They said Jen believed Brad when he swore Angelina Jolie wasn't the reason for their split. Jen's pal, Kristen Hahn, said she understood there was some spark and friendship between Brad and Angelina, but Brad kept saying, it's not about some other lady. Turns out, though, there might have been more to the story between Brad and Angelina than they let on at first. Back in 2006, Angelina Jolie spilled to People Mag that she was pumped to go to work every day on Mr. and Mrs. Smith because of her bond with Brad Pitt. Then, Jennifer Aniston fired back in 2008, telling Vogue that some of the stuff Angelina said was news to her. She didn't know about it at the time. Jen called out Angelina's comment about being excited to work with Brad every day as really uncool. In a candid talk with Vanity Fair in 2005, Jennifer Aniston spilled the tea about her ex, Brad Pitt, and his speedy rebound with Angelina Jolie. Jen said Brad was lacking a sensitivity chip for going public with his new boo so fast after their split. They even did a photo shoot for W Magazine in July 2005 where they played house with a bunch of kids, which Jen's friend called out as pretty insensitive. 
During the interview, Jennifer Aniston dug into her feelings about the divorce and how Brad Pitt's actions in the media after the split didn't line up with what he'd told her before. There's a bunch of stuff I don't get, a bunch I'm clueless about and probably never will be, she told the magazine. So I'm choosing to hold on to as much integrity, dignity and respect for what we had as I can. It feels like I'm scrambling to piece things together while this crazy media circus is going on. Clearly, Brad's behavior during and after their breakup didn't sit well with Jennifer Aniston and her crew. When the rumors about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie started swirling, folks began taking sides, even wearing t-shirts that said Team Aniston or Team Jolie. Tabloids also claimed Brad and Jen split because he wanted to start a family, which he did with Angelina soon after, while Jen supposedly was all about her career. But later on, Jennifer spilled the beans in a 2022 interview with Allure, saying she'd been through years of IVF treatments but couldn't have a baby in the end. A friend of Jennifer Aniston's pointed out that Brad Pitt seemed to get better treatment in the media during their divorce, especially regarding the idea of having kids. When Brad and Jen were together, having a baby wasn't his main focus, ever, the friend told Vanity Fair. But for Jen, it was a big deal. So, was Brad playing dirty? Did he think, I gotta get out of this marriage, but I wanna look good, so I'll let Jen take the blame as the career-focused one, and I'll play the sympathetic guy who just couldn't have a kid and had to move on? Sadly, Jennifer had to deal with years of hurtful gossip, and Brad never changed the story. Besides supposedly getting involved with another woman while still married to Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt was said to be emotionally distant during their marriage. In Jennifer's revealing interview with Vanity Fair in 2005, she said Brad wasn't there for her when she needed him most. He just wasn't present, Jennifer told the magazine, talking about times when she reached out to him for support but didn't get it. Brad Pitt supposedly missed the filming of the final Friends episode, which reportedly shocked Jennifer Aniston's close pals, considering it was a huge deal for her personally and culturally. Jennifer mentioned to the magazine, he was busy working when asked about Brad's absence from the shoot, but she also looked back on her marriage and admitted she'd change a few things if she could do it over. I'd take more vacations, just getting away from work and enjoying each other in different places, she said, but something always got in the way. Either he was working or I was. Sadly, their busy schedules seemed to drive a wedge between them, and Brad supposedly became even more distant as time went on. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt pretty much confirmed they were together in January 2006, when Jolie's adopted kids, Maddox and Zahara, changed their last names to Jolie Pitt. Then, in May 2006, they had their own baby, Shiloh. And in March 2007, Jolie adopted another child, Pax, from Vietnam. Fast forward to July 2008, and Pitt and Jolie had twins, Vivian and Knox. They finally got hitched in August 2014, with their six kids around. But sadly, the happy ending didn't stick, and Jolie filed for divorce in September 2016, citing irreconcilable differences. Shortly after, reports surfaced that Angelina Jolie filed for divorce after an incident on a flight from France to California involving their kids. The New York Times reported that in legal documents from Jolie's team, it was stated that Pitt choked one of the children and struck another in the face, grabbed Jolie by the head and shook her. He poured beer on Jolie. At another, he poured beer and red wine on the children. The FBI looked into it, but Rolling Stone said the United States Attorney's Office decided not to charge Pitt for the alleged violence. The FBI report even mentioned that Jolie felt trapped on the plane during the incident. During their lengthy custody fight, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's breakup just kept getting uglier. In August 2018, they made headlines again when Jolie and her lawyer claimed Pitt wasn't coughing up enough child support, as per NBC News. Jolie's lawyer stated in a legal document, As of now, Pitt hasn't really paid any significant child support since we split. But Pitt's legal team fired back quickly, filing their own document in response to Jolie's accusations. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. We promise even better content. See you soon.